Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this uh, presentation, in this tutorial, we will be talking about smoke testing. So in this particular video, I will discuss about smoke testing. What is smoke testing? Why do you need it? What is the process of doing smoke testing? What are some real-time examples to do that? And what are some of its advantages? So that it will clear all the doubts that you may have. And then you will not complain that, Mukta, you have not covered so-and-so topic. Okay, that's why I have prepared this presentation for you. I have put a lots of effort and tried to put all the inf important information into this slide. So please uh, watch and listen to me carefully. Yeah, let's get started. Smoke testing in software testing. Smoke testing is a preliminary uh, testing technique used to check whether the most critical features in the application are working fine before any other testing is performed. This testing is usually executed on new builds to ensure early bug detection as well as to ensure build stability. As well as to ensure build uh, stability. Why do we need smoke testing? So these are the three main uh, reasons on which we can say that we need smoke testing. First, early detection of bugs. So when you receive a new build, you will perform smoke testing. You will catch defects early. This will help you in identification of defects early, in early stages. By detecting critical bugs early, smoke testing helps to reduce the cost of bug fixing. Second, save time and money. Smoke testing helps to save time and money by highlighting critical issues early in the development phase. And third, very important, ensure continuous quality. By ensuring that the critical functions of the application are working as expected, smoke testing helps to maintain the quality of the application. Now the question comes, and you must be also thinking if you are new uh, here, how you do smoke testing? What is the process of performing smoke testing? First, step number one, identify the critical functions. First of all, you will identify the most critical functions in the application. You will create test cases for each critical function. Step number two, set up test environment. Either it will be set up by your test manager or the test lead. Then you will install the latest build of the application to be tested. This latest build will be supplied by development team. Step number three, execute test cases. Now you will run the smoke test cases, which you have identified and written in step one. And then you will check the result of those test cases. You can create a report, a status report, and you can mention how many are the total number of smoke test cases, how many are passed, and how many are failed. This is very uh, crisp PPT I have prepared so that you don't have to go anywhere and all the questions related to smoke testing, you can find it here. Now we will talk about some real-time examples. You guys always ask me to give real-time examples, even though I have been providing it from a long time. So I have clearly written down here. First example is ATM machine. A smoke test of ATM machine covers critical features such as dispensing money from the machine, balance, and receipt printing. Example number two, any e-commerce website. A smoke test of an e-commerce website covers critical features such as login page, home page, browsing features, and shopping cart functions, and payment function also. Then third example is music player user interface. You will have so many music um, app in your mobile phone, right? Or maybe on the desktop also you will have. A smoke test of music player UI covers critical functions such as play, pause, uh, skip and volume control. These are some three common real-time examples of smoke testing. Now we will discuss about what are the smoke testing checklist. How do you prepare? Like, you know, in some companies, in some companies, some people follow checklists because smoke testing is essential part. So first we can do test plan created. You can create a, a smoke test plan that includes details of all the functions that you are going to cover as part of the smoke testing that will be tested and expected result and the pass and fail criteria. Then second, we have test environment setup. Ensure that the test environment is suitable and has necessary hardware and software requirement for testing. Then you have step number three is test case design. Create detailed test cases outlining the exact steps to be performed so that either 
if you are testing it, you should be able to test it. And if tomorrow you leave the company and somebody else join the company, then he should be also able to execute those test cases which you have written. Now, step number four. After your test plan is created, after test environment is set up, after test case designing is done, it's time to do test case execution. You will execute the test cases and carefully examine the results to ensure that the critical functions of the application are working fine. Smoke testing is also called build verification testing and smoke testing is also known by the name of product veri verification testing. Here you are validating the build stability. Depending upon the result of smoke test, you can say the build is stable for testing and you can further continue your testing. Advantages of smoke testing. Do we have any advantages of smoke testing? Or maybe in the interview, they can ask you, uh, list down some advantages of smoke testing. First is early bug detection. As we discussed in the initial, uh, in the starting of the video, that it helps in early bug detection. Because as soon as you receive a build, you will perform smoke testing and you will come across some defects. So smoke testing helps to uh, detect critical bugs early in the development process, making it easier and less costly to fix those issues. Second advantage is saves time and money. As we have also discussed in the beginning of the video, it will save time and money. It, smoke testing can be done manually as well as with the help of some tools. If you are working in automation testing, you will know that you will, uh, you know, you will write test scripts for those smoke tests and then you will execute it. It will generate report faster. Then we have improves productivity by detecting issues early. Smoke testing increases overall productivity by minimizing the time spent on testing and debugging later in the development phase. And then uh, I have best practices for smoke testing. What are the best practices for smoke testing? One is test early and often. Perform smoke testing as early as possible in the development phase and repeat regularly to ensure continuous quality control. As soon as you receive a build, you should perform smoke testing to ensure that the build is stable and to ensure that, uh, you know, there are no major defects. And if there are, you should raise it. Second, test automation. Consider automating smoke tests for better efficiency and accuracy and freeing up the testers to concentrate on more testing complex areas. Then we have collaboration and communication. Encourage collaboration and communication between testers, developers, and other stakeholders to ensure issues are identified and resolved in a timely manner. I hope these uh, this information will be helpful to you. And uh, because I prepared, I rehearsed a couple of times before shooting this video. So I really hope that you will like it and you will find it useful. Please uh, hit like and let me know in the comments if you like such type of presentations to give you more information about the subject. Thank you so much for watching and keep watching the space for more. Bye.